the door opens and we are in a corridor. There are lots of wooden wardrobe trundles in this corridor, which is basically how the costumes get stored when they're on tour. We go through another couple of doors and we're into the wings. We make our way onto the stage, so taming the shrew set, and there is the auditorium for Nottingham Theatre Royal. There's a lovely chandelier on the ceiling. Wait, chandelier or chandelier? I don't know. Cut to Abby and Hannah in the dressing room. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we are in the middle of a measure and today, unfortunately, Sophie Carnaby is not with us. She's, She's not, not very well. Which means that Hannah, you have gone on for Mariana. And I am covering Hannah's role of singer. And Egg and is covering other. Egg is covering a bit of my track in the second half. <laughs> and this afternoon, there was a big understudy. For as you like it. For as you like it. So How it's I, been quite a day. I think it was like seven understudies on seven for as you like it. So we the few of us went down to watch. It was crazy. It was amazing. They were so amazing. Good. So good. Oh, right, you need to go on stage. I need to go on stage. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Newcastle. Cooney is looking at a sign for Newcastle Castle. He looks confused. Let's call it Newcastle. No, Newcastle Castle. <laughs> Cut to a view of the Newcastle Quayside. It's sunny and beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? Cut to Amy in her room. As most of you will know by now, due to COVID-19, the rest of our run has been cancelled. Loads of theatres across the UK are dark. I think like most of them have cancelled performances, if not all. And theatres around the world have stopped their performances for the safety of everyone and it's absolutely the best decision. I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about how that all went down for us. In Newcastle, we were aware of the situation evolving and we knew that it was a possibility and the RSC were keeping us informed and we were having company meetings and they were listening to all of our concerns and answering any questions that we had. On the Saturday, we performed As You Like It and Measure for Measure, not knowing that they were our final shows. Tame of the Shrew was performed for the last time in Nottingham. I spent Sunday and Monday trying to get as much fresh air as possible. We went to a beautiful reservoir, which was just gorgeous, and there was a rainbow, and we had a lovely time there. And then on the Monday, we went to the Holy Island, which is in Linda's farm, and it was the most beautiful place. It was there that we heard Boris Johnson advising people not to go to the theatres, so we kind of, you know, we kind of knew. And we all sat along the, there wasn't a beach, but there was water and there was a castle and it was just the most beautiful weather. And we sat in silence for a little bit, everyone just taking a breather. And then we all started hysterically laughing for no reason and it was a real release. Um, I'm very grateful that I got to spend those final two days of tour with lovely humans in lovely places. On the Monday night, we got the news that the shows were canceled. Obviously, we're sad. I don't know if you've picked up on this through the vlogs, but I kind of love my job and love these, these shows and love these humans. So my heart aches knowing that we're not going to do the shows again and that we're not going to spend every day together. But as I said, it's the best decision and all that matters is keeping people safe. It is so weird that we never got to all say goodbye, but we've been keeping in touch. You know, a group of us did a reading of Much Do About Nothing yesterday online because what else are RSC actors going to do in their spare time? If you had tickets to see a show that was cancelled then I'm really sorry that you didn't get to see it. I hope you get to see some wonderful theatre very soon. I've still got a few vlogs to edit so I am going to do them and post them in the next couple of weeks. I hope you're all safe and I hope you're all well and I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage that I recorded when I went in on the Tuesday morning to collect all my stuff uh, before packing up my car and driving back to Essex. Amy is in a dressing room. For the final performance of Measure on Saturday, I went on as Gent, one of the gents, the gent that I haven't gone on for yet, Alexander's track. Alexander, we call him Egg, I realise I've been saying that in vlogs and everyone's probably very confused. Anyway, I went on as um, my gent, so I've got some gent costumes still here. That was fun, that means I've um, done all of my Measure understudies. Boom. Alice our DSM on measure and as you like it uh, got us these little magnets you can, I can't focus but it's a picture of the stage and it says measure still for measure I mean I think the real tragedy of this situation is that we never finished our Dungeons and Dragons quest I've got James Cooney's Dungeons and Dragons book here so I'm trying to call him find out what he wants me to do with it maybe it'll be something to remember him by 
Measure for measure. Costume trundle. See you later, bump. And my favourite costume, Tiny Tim costume. She closes the trundle. Cooney, Mick and Lee are in the green room. How are you all? Sad. Sad with... Yeah, but we need you know, the right thing to do, but the priority for me is the I think when you've been in a job for this long, in your head, you're sort of planning how it ends. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, know, you prepare yourself for what the wind down can yeah. be. And so for that to just suddenly get angry to stop. And I don't think it's thinking well. And I'm sure that there are people all across the country experiencing very similar things. But uh, yeah, thanks to the RSC, yeah. thanks to Amy Trigg for having yeah. this class. Yeah. Lots of fun. Uh, thanks to Amy Trigg for everything. Oh, stop it! But we're going to still play D&D &D over Skype, aren't we? Absolutely. Skype friends! Skype friends! <laughs> Cut to black. Cut to Amy's measure for measure script being closed. Some of the stickers on the front haven't lasted too well. Cut to black. 